I used to say de-intellectualization. What has been done by the education is to de-intellectualize India. And uh, because the Indian Academy, it entered into a data theory relationship with the West, what Sarv was also saying, that we get every theory from there, every concept from there, all logic from there, and uh, we read a paper, something, and then we take our own village and, you know, give the data to say how right this scholar is, hoping that he will catch the eye and make a visit to USA on some pretext. Because for long, so were the values distorted that the greatest tragedy that could strike our young people was refusal of American visa. Things are changing now. Things are changing now and not only because of us, but also because of what, has happened, what is happening there and elsewhere. But this was the situation. So intellectuals de-intellectualized. A friend of mine, a Sardarji, um, Sardarjis are good friends of mine. I am also half Sardarji from Punjab. <laughs> uh, professor, he said, you know, Indian intellectual is like the broiler chicken. Broiler. You know, a broiler, broiler, beautiful, healthy chicken, white, with red kalgi and you know, they are fed a particular diet to make them fat and huh? so that then they are, you know, eaten. So they look very impressive, very healthy. The problem is they can't stand on their legs. So Indian intellectuals are like broilers. They are fed on a special diet, the Western theory, and they are very impressive because they learn a few words which they smatter in their discourse, like a good housewife smatters the dhania and jeera and this, you see, like marginalized, the center doesn't hold, huh? and fundamental and the essentialism. And the, 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 you know, a few more words. I, of course, deconstruct, decode, huh? deconstruct, decode. So whatever you are saying, you just throw these words here and there. And you become an impressive broiler chicken. Huh? The only problem is that these people, when they go abroad, many of my students from JNU, they used to take my certification and go and get admissions and fellowship. And then I would immediately get an email, sir, they want me to talk about Indian aesthetics. Can you tell me what should I say? Because they don't know. They want me to talk about Indian philosophy. And they don't know. They didn't know that India had a philosophy or a philosophical system <laughs> to count. So they, they expect them to talk about India. But they know nothing about India. They are broilers. So the education system produced young uh, people with lack of confidence and self-respect and brazenly arrogant, foolish intellectual adults. Brazenly arrogant, you see, again dismissive and all that.